Hello my Uwus, it's Owo Today, first of all, I want to say to you Thank you for 100 YouTube subscribers Thank you to those who love me Thank you for those who hate me And just thank you for the 100 subscribers Today, I am going to be teaching you How to attack with vengeance Using the drop prayer method Now what do I mean by the drop prayer method? What I mean is When you, you hit your vengeance You drop your protection prayer that way you get hit more on the vengeance and I'm going to show you now how it works. So let's get into an LMS game and let's see how the drop prayer method works. Okay so we're in. First you're going to want to hit your venge quickly and you're going to drink your potions and stuff. This, this can be used outside of LMS as well so don't be afraid to use it outside of LMS. Here we got a guy here. I'm going to keep my prayer down for the first hit. So whatever he throws at me, it's going to hit. It's, the vengeance is going to come back on him. So see, now he's venged. Now I'm going to put my prayers back on probably. Nope, he's dead. Okay. Well, good game anyway. But you see what I mean? You keep your prayer down so that the person hits you on... Hits your vengeance harder. Okay? So I think you get the concept. But I'm going to try and... I'm going to try and show you like a few situations in how it works and what to do also i want to show you something these are your vengeance timers you have them on rune light you, you're gonna want to always like waste some time so you see it's counting down from 20 19 18 17 60 you're gonna want to waste a bit of time before you get into your next fight so that you can have two vengeance stacked up so you have like a vengeance in your pocket and you have one vengeance when the when the opponent first attacks you Okay, so soon I'm going to show you this in a fight, an example, now I've got two vengeances stacked up, he's going to hit me, he's been hit for vengeance, now I'm hitting him again, he's been hit for vengeance again, see what I'm saying, now my prayers are back up, my prayers are back up and I'm praying again, on defensive mode, because I don't have vengeance out, now see I'm going to be attacking him, I'm going to be trying to pray and I got him, luckily that was a nice hit, see the method works, the method works, Mm. What also I would what also I would say to you is, if someone goes underneath you and they freeze you, pray melee. I recommend praying melee if someone freezes you and goes underneath you. That's another tip I'd recommend. But apart from that, I'm just trying to show you the method I've been using to get a few wins and kills here on LMS, and you know you can use it outside of the wilderness. Say you're doing wilderness slayer or you know you're doing anything in the wilderness you could you could use this you always have always have a vengeance on always hit a vengeance and then you have another one after 30 seconds always remember that so it makes it harder for people to rush you as well so if people you know it'll be hard if someone tries to rush you and you've got two vengeances like most of that damage is going back to them if you think about it so that would be good anyway i've been having fun with this method and i'm hoping if I could show this to you, and if I can, I don't know, you, you might understand it, you know. I hope you'll understand the method. Here we've got someone coming to attack me now, he's trying to, he's frozen me. So, I've hit my vengeance, I've hit my second vengeance, as you can see. Now I've hit my second vengeance. See, and now it's hit it, I'm going to put my prayer back up now, because he's done that. Nearly clawed him out there, but I need to get my prayers back up. Now I'm just waiting for my vengeance to come back so I can do it again. I'm gonna play defensively while I'm gonna play defensively while I wait for it to come back. So you see him majoring me off there. He's underneath me. But but when he's underneath me I've thrown up vengeance, so yeah. Oh, big bolt. He's bolting me. I'm bolting him. Going in, going in for that grassy rapier. Is that even a rapier? Yeah, that's a rapier. Rapiering him. Now you see I'm frozen. Oh. Big bolt. 
big boy. And as you can see, I'm not praying. As you can see, I'm not praying because I have vengeance up. So that's why I'm not praying. And I got him and he seems surprised. He's like, what WTF? He's surprised. And it does surprise a lot of people because it just seems like I'm not praying. It just seems like I'm not praying to them. But really, in my in my head, I've got it sorted out. I know what I'm doing when I'm not praying. So, you know, there you go. Now, I'm going to fast forward this now for you. So, Because the next fight is happening very soon. So, I'll fast forward. I've got a Light Bearer and a Fury. So, let's see how we get along with this. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's see how we get along. Yeah, just fast forwarding it now. Fast forwarding it now. Now we're on to the next fight. Let's see what happens. Now we've got another barrage mage here to fight. It's hard. You know what's funny? I find it like, I find it. Harder to fight Vengers than the Barrage Mages. I don't know why, but let's see what happens here. Here I'm waiting for him to come out. I've clawed him out while he's underneath him. I've tried clawed him out again, but he got his prayer up in time. Now I'm on to bolting him. Got my prayers up. He's running into the distance to create some distance from me and him. Because he knows he's in a bit he was in a bit of trouble there. But I think this is quite a good fight. This is we have quite a good fight. The key thing to do is when the when the people go underneath you, it's called D D D D ing. When someone goes underneath you, and when someone goes underneath you, you shouldn't panic. You should perhaps just pray melee, and just not panic when they go underneath you. And now I'm venged up. You see, I'm not praying, but now you know I've lost my venge now, so I should be praying and getting it back up. There you go. Now I'm just waiting for the countdown again. As you can see on the bottom left, there's a vengeance countdown. So. In 8 seconds I'm going to show him how vengeance tastes So we're going to see He's freezing me off He's freezing me off But here's what I've just decided to do in this second I've decided to save my vengeance Yeah, I've decided to save it for Because I know he's got some something big to poke me with And you'll see See I'm hitting him good This is a close fight Very good fight He's getting me good. I'm frozen. I'm frozen, but he's run too far away, so I'm unfrozen. I'm chasing him down. He's got me again. But now this is the interesting part. Look, I'm, he's gonna come in for for a finisher, and look what I do with my vengeance. Watch this. Watch. I've popped a vengeance now. Boom! You see that nearly killed him. You see that vengeance nearly killed him off with with his own with his own stab of the sword. So this is a powerful way of this is a powerful way of like just getting people. I think he wins this one, but you know, he had a good fight. We both had our moments in this fight. So good fight to this guy, good fight to this guy. Fair fair dues on him, fair dues. Oh. Let's see how it turns out. But what I'm trying to teach you, the bottom line of what I'm trying to teach you is drop your prayer sometimes and let them hit you. So, you know, just reflect the damage. That's all you have to do. Just reflect the damage because that's the point of vengeance. You're, you're, the point of vengeance is you reflect the damage. Anyway, that was actually a really good fight though. That, that was actually a really good fight. We were fighting all over the place. That's quite. That's quite exciting anyway. So... Remember, bottom line, have two vengeances stacked. Uh, have two vengeances stacked and always and try drop your prayer when they're going to attack you. That's the bottom line of what I'm trying to teach you today. Um, pretty much. Now, let's see the next fight. Let's see how it goes. And what am I saying here? As you can see, always stack two vengeances. That's what I'm going to hammer home to today. If you're a Vendra, Try always have two vengeances stacked, and if you've just finished, try kill thirty seconds before you move on to the next person you're fighting or whatever, so you can get the vengeances back. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just showing you how it's done, showing you how how to do it. 
I've, I don't know, maybe other people do this method, I don't know, but I've seen this, this, I don't know. Anyway, and also I want you to remember something. If you're a Avenger, then remember this. Vengeance is a moment. So let's see. As soon as you get in the game, hit your Venge. Drink your potions, hit your Venge, get ready for your fight. Oh. So much conf look at all this confusion, I don't even know who's hitting me. Okay, so this is what I meant by I think uh vengeance fights. Me fighting another Venger is tougher than me fighting a mage a, a, a mage in my opinion. So I'm gonna show you an example of me fighting another Venger in this fight here. So as you can see it's a bit more slow paced, it's a bit more it, it, we're standing in the same spot hitting each other no one's re you know we're not really moving around too much uh no one's chasing each other around also when i'm fighting another avenger i have to look at when he avenges and then try break his venge you know because i'll try break his venge and not hit too much and also if i am going to break his venge make sure i have enough health in my um in my, in my health bar to you know to have his venge broken to break his venge so when he venges i have to have a lot of health in my health bar something i want to bring up to you as well here's something i want to bring up to you as well when you use vengeance you need to pay back the vengeance with food so you have to have a high hit bar your, your health has to be high so you have to borderline safe put yourself at a safe um hit hit point level and then hit the vengeance that way you're going to survive their hit because if you don't have enough hit points and you venge it doesn't matter like you're still going to die so you know what i mean ha when you venge make sure you have enough food to pay back the vengeance you have to pay the venge man you have to pay the venge man so as you can see we're fighting it's, it's a lot longer and it's a lot of more of a like static fight we're just standing here whipping each other and beating each other that's how it is with with avenger on avenger kind of it's still very challenging because it's like a lot you know it's going to probably be a long fight because we're both going to either do one one or two things we're both either going to um range each other or mage or melee each other so it's just easy you know, it's easy to predict so it makes the fights a lot longer also i reckon this guy he could have won, I think. I reckon this guy could have won if he ate his bruise. I don't think he ate his bruise, to be honest, because I've eaten my bruise. I don't think he's eaten his bruise. Or he just, or maybe they don't know how to eat bruise or something, but they did really well. And yeah, good fight to them. Good fight to them. But that's what I mean. The fights are so long when you. The fights are like longer, vengeance versus vengeance. But anyway, it is fun. Also, I'll give you another tip, yeah? You know the dark bow? I've just picked up a dark bow. And the dark bow is very good to use with vengeance. You know why? Because it creates extra hit splats. So when it hits someone twice, it can stack with your vengeance. And you could end up with more hits. It could often stack someone out. So using a debo on someone can really stack someone out. Because of all the extra hits adding up together. Especially if they hit you with something heavy. And you hit them with two heavy Debo hits. Most likely they'll go down. I've seen it a few times. Where you just insta kill someone. Because they've, they've gone in and hit you. And you've had your vengeance up. And you've had a Debo. It's just automatically hit back on them. And I've seen them die in one hit. So Dark Bow is very OP. When combined with vengeance. So as you can see here, I've got my vengeance in my pocket on the bottom left, above where it says Mossa Settlement. I've got my vengeance in my pocket, so I'm ready to like go. I'm ready to be attacked. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. So let's get into this fight now. We're fighting another barrage mage, and let's see how it goes. See, I've reflected damage on him. He's gone underneath me. I'm. You see, I'm. Um, when he's gone into DDB and go underneath me, I have a vengeance. So it's going back to him anyway. So there we go. Now I'm praying again. See? 
Now I'm using this VLS on him to, to get land them heavy hits on him when I'm up close. When I'm up close, I'm using this VLS to land very heavy hits on him. It's working out quite well. Oh, and a dark bow coming in there. And I've hit the Venge again. Hit hit the Venge. And i am dropped my prayer. I'm ready for whatever he throws at me. See? Now I've got my prayer back up as soon as my Venge is gone. And I'm and you see the Debo landing fat hits there. You see, he's causing him problems. It's, you know, the Debo does cause heavy problems. So you're going to watch out for that. When I'm unfrozen, I'm going to go in for my counter attack now. Maybe hit an AGS hit on him. But it did not hit. He prayed for it. Good for him. Now he's trying to run away from me. Keep distance from me. But I'm going to keep trying to close that distance on him. Stay on his tail. You know you're going to end up frozen a lot as Avenger. Don't get frustrated that you're frozen. It's okay to be frozen. Let them think they're in control. Trust me, let, let let the barrage majors think they're in control, but really you know what you're doing. So let's go. Anyway, love to barrage majors anyway. I love you barrage majors. You give me good challenges. I hope I see you all out there on the field. Don't take it personal, I'm just trying to teach people how to venge. I want I want people to venge good. Because some people can't mage good, you know what I mean? Some people, they can't mage good. Pulling out all the stuff, getting changed, all of that is just... Like, for some people, it's just not happening. So I want some people to use vengeance and perhaps improve their game. You know, some people might even be on mobile, so that's just not even... I don't know if they can even pull out all that stuff. Uh, he's getting hit with the VLS. There's not really much he can do because it's a VLS. Even if he prays, it's still a VLS and he's down. Good game. Good game. I think the VLS is OP. But, you know, why not? I've taken his tacits now. Thank you for the bandos tacits. Now, I make a mistake here. I should have run to the houses at the top right. But instead, I went into this house. And I think this got me attacked by the guy behind me. Uh, but luckily I get into the box and I manage to loot my chest. Now, here's another vengeance tip for you. When you're using vengeance, you are going to want to bring the, the mage or a barrage mage or any mage. You want to bring them into a confined space like this house. See, I've got him in this little house. This is exactly where I want him. Because there's not much space for him to move. There's not much space for, for me to move. So even if he freezes me, he's still close to me. He's still within reach. He hasn't got many trees to hide behind. You know, either way, I'm going to hit him, you know. So it's good to be in a confined space when you're Avenger. So try bring them either into open spaces with no trees or bring them into confined spaces like bedrooms. Like you see, I've got this little bedroom or you've got the upstairs bedroom, you, you know. You want to bring them into confined spaces or open spaces away from trees. Now he's giving me a good fight. He's giving me a very good fight. Right now I think I should have clawed him but I didn't. But I'm hitting him with that VLS and that VLS is hitting like a truck so I'm happy anyway. I feel like I did good against this guy. Spoiler alert. I do lose, but I feel like I did okay. Let's see what happens here. And I'm venged up, so you see my prayers down, I'm venged up. Oh, and I red barred him, I red barred him. Almost got him. Very nearly almost got him. So, yeah, that is... But yeah, I'm just trying to show you, man. I'm just trying to show you. I'll try to show you people how you can use vengeance, like the things it could do. And there's more I can show you as well. Like if you right-click the vengeance spell, say if you right-click the vengeance spell, then switch tab. You could choose whenever you want to, um, whenever you want to let it off. But this was a close. I feel like this was a close fight. This was a very close fight and, and I'm hoping I can show you the power that the ve vengeance has power. I'm trying to show you. I think I might I think you might get it, but it does. 
there's better Avengers than me anyway. And he wins, but good game to him. Good game to him. Comes in with the sit, but that's okay. That's okay. We stay chill around here. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, the bottom line of it is, I think the bottom line I want to get through to you is you can use vengeance in the worldy, outside of the worldy. I mean, you can use vengeance in the worldy and in LMS, or or in other mini games like Soul Wars, um, Castle Wars, or whatever, and it works. It's effective. It's it's effective to use, and it hits hard. So. I think give it a chance maybe give it a chance uh what what can go wrong what can go wrong what's the worst that can happen you die so what <laughs> anyway thanks for 100 youtube subscribers man i love you all it's nice to be back at making videos man i swear to god like love you all and goodbye